Hey everyone, welcome back to Poplar Ridge. I'm out here in front of our main barn and garage um, today, and uh, this is where we park our cars and uh, tractors and, and equipment goes in the back of the barn back here. Um, we just got finished painting this barn earlier this month. Um, it was an old tan color that had faded out and uh, need, was in pretty bad need of uh, needing to be painted. And, um, the color we chose behind me that you'll see is um, a Sherwin-Williams color called Crabby Apple. We really like the way the color turned out. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, but today I'm going to show you how to, um, how to add some relatively cheap uh, interest to the front side of your barn or to the, maybe one of the peaks of your barn if you have a barn. Um, maybe twenty thirty dollars you can really come up with something kind of cool to just add interest and draw people's attention to the barn uh, give it a different look um, now obviously you might come up with something different than what we have my, my wife came up with this idea she's the creative one in the family so um, come along with me today and I'll show you what we got so here's what we're going to be using to make our barn art today we got an old piece of um, farm equipment uh, came off an old uh, plow or, or disking device of some kind um, and a bunch of old antique saws I think we paid about ten dollars for that farm implement piece and about a dollar per saw at an antique store uh, sprayed a little bit of paint on there um, also bought a piece of all thread um, that will go through the farm implement into the barn to help me hang it. You can find that at any local hardware store. Uh, with a few simple screws and a um, little bit of time and measuring out and layout, uh, you can add some interest and, and some flair to your barn.
well, now that we got our saws up, I need to put the farm implement as the centerpiece through there. I've already got a hole drilled for the all thread to go through. So we'll just put that through and um, then we'll tighten it down with a nut from the other side. Side of the barn. All that's left to do is put a nut and a washer on the back side of our all thread to keep the farm implement in place. So there's the finished product. With a little creativity and a little money, you can add flair and, and some creative interest to your barn too.